I think it's really important for people as they are networking uh, and sharing their resumes um, that they get feedback on them. Um, particularly if you hear from a recruiter and a recruiter says, you know, we don't think you best meet what we're looking for, we're moving on. You want to take that as a learning opportunity to not only figure out, well, why am I not best qualified, but don't do it in an offensive way or in a, in a way that you know, is um, inappropriate. Do it as a learning opportunity, but then also capture that uh, opportunity with some feedback about your resume. You know, is there something about my resume that would have been more effective? And I think recruiters will be honest because they know they're going to see your resume again probably 10, 11, 12 more times. Um, and if it, could, if it could be more t targeted and focused, it not only helps them understand how to best fit you to what they're looking for, but it also puts them in a better position to be able to market you to the hiring manager because the hiring manager is also looking for the quick six second glance of how this person's qualified. So what I've also know is true, a lot of recruiters will, um, will ask candidates to reformat their resumes to be more effective so I can push this to the hiring manager. Um, and I think candidates need to be uh, open to that. Um, I know we spend a lot of time polishing our resumes, but it's important to make sure that it's targeted. Make good use of white space. You know, you don't have to fill every, you know, uh, space on the resume with words. Um, think of it as a marketing tool, as a tool that represents who you are uh, from, a, from a marketing perspective. Um, and I think, you know, you want to make sure, I mean, I think the community gets a little frustrated when we say, you know, you, you need to have three or four different resumes so you can customize them for the opportunity. It's, it feels like a lot of work, but, you know, being able to think about, you know, whether it's a functional resume or a chronological resume or something different for the, for the right opportunity, for the, for the right organization. Um, particularly when you're looking at how do I convey a skill set that is not direct, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to make it appear transferable, right? Um, so some of the things that we say are, you know, uh, target what they're looking for um, and show how you are qualified for it, for that um, and, and your resume. So if I'm looking for, you know, a uh, um, master's in, in education with 15 years of experience, um, and you have a master's in public policy and 25 years of experience. It may not be the same, but you got to you got to show how it's relevant and how it's related. Um, so it's it takes customization, but it also takes simplicity and effectiveness. Um, so the rule of less is more gets you past the first gate, and then once you get past the first gate, perhaps that's the opportunity to have supplemental detail to be able to get to the technical person who may be further down the chain, who wants the 20-page resume with all the technical details. Um, but to get through the gate, it's got to be more streamlined.